नमस्कार आई एम डी वेलकम सू इन वीकली वेदर डिस्कशन टुडे इज ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट सेप्टेम्बर सो इन दिस वीकली डिस्कशन वी विल रिव्यू पास्ट वीक्स वेदर एंड आउटलुक फॉर नेक्स्ट टू वीक्स सो वी हैव मैंशन सम ऑफ द पॉइंट्स इन द फॉर्म ऑफ समरी यू कैन सी दैट अंडर द Uh, under the influence of two two low pressure areas and their movement uh, especially odisha chatisgarh madhya pradesh rajasthan and gujarat received good amount of rainfall with uh, extremely heavy rainfall activity over these regions and uh, exceptionally heavy rainfall events on 16th and 17th over southwest madhya pradesh and southeast rajasthan and because of this low pressure area also this uh, monsoon seasonal monsoon drop remains south of its normal position uh, across this uh, uh, low pressure uh, area so this is the accordingly we have mentioned three highlights now let us uh, review the uh, past weeks in optic system so you can see that there are so many small uh, small troughs uh, low pressure areas troughs etc but mainly there was two low pressure area one was the remnant one one was the uh, last weeks well, well mark low pressure area over north west of bengal and adjoining coastal areas of odisha and west bengal and it moves uh, uh, westwards north westwards and uh, move across odisha chatisgarh uh, south madhya pradesh south east rajasthan and gujarat region and right now it is seen as a cyclonic circulation over kutch and adjoining regions another low pressure area formed on 19th over north west of bengal and that joining coastal area of odisha and west bengal and today it is uh, lies as a low pressure area over southeast jharkhand and today this monsoon trough lies south of its northern position start from the jaisalmer so these are the main three synoptic system one is the low pressure area and another is the seasonal monsoon trough so yeah, uh, last week we are we were having two low pressure areas and uh, the uh in the location of the monsoon trough these three was the main synoptic systems under the influence of these synoptic systems exceptionally heavy rainfall recorded over southwest madhya pradesh and southeast rajasthan on 16th and 17th and extremely heavy rainfall reported over the same regions including south madhya pradesh southeast rajasthan gujarat and one our two stations over western parts of uttar pradesh and also over odisha and uh, telangana this map showing a uh, very heavy and heavy rainfall activity you will see that mainly uh, the heavy rainfall activity was concentrated over odisha chatisgarh madhya pradesh rajasthan and gujarat region some isolated uh, activity of heavy very heavy rainfall was also observed over this western himalayan region that is jammu kashmir himachal pradesh uttarakhand punjab haryana western parts of uttar pradesh and also some activity over telangana along the west coast including konkan and goa coastal karnataka and kerala and one some of one or two activity of heavy rainfall over rail sima south central karnataka and tamil nadu so these are uh, these are the locations of heavy to very heavy rainfall extremely heavy rainfall and this is the overall light, light rainfall to extremely heavy rainfall so you can see in the in the this red circle this was the main zone where uh, heavy to very heavy rainfall with as well extremely heavy rainfall observed otherwise light to moderate rainfall over uh, main, mo, over main parts of the country was observed including all the subdivisions except uh, some rainfall less rainfall over this uh, uh ladakh region and uh, also over western parts of rajasthan otherwise over most parts of the country light to moderate rainfall received during uh, past week so this is the progress of the monsoon so you will see that consecutively two weeks reported uh, above normal rainfall last week it was 16% above normal this week it is 44% above normal and overall overall the seasonal uh, monsoon rainfall is minus 7% now this is the seasonal and uh, weekly rainfall this is the weekly rainfall you will see that uh, most pockets of odisha chatisgarh madhya pradesh rajasthan gujarat along the west coast western himalayan region including jammu kashmir himachal pradesh and also north western india including punjab haryana are reported very am- good amount of rainfall and ac- accordingly reported uh, above normal rainfall shown by here either dark blue rain da- dark blue color or light blue color and red color shows below normal activity and uh, this yellow color also shows uh, below normal uh, below normal activity and green color shows uh, normal activity 
and this is the seasonal rainfall you will see that most parts of the country reported a normal uh, to above normal activity except some of the pockets in shown by red color including eastern parts of uttar pradesh bihar jharkhand gangetic west bengal nagaland mipur mizoram tripura interior maharashtra including madhya maharashtra maratwara rail sima south indian karnataka and kerala where rainfall was deficient category otherwise most parts of the country reported uh, a good amount of rainfall and accordingly they are either normal normal category or above normal category now these are the uh, current synoptic systems you will see that as already mentioned there is a low pressure area over south is jharkhand and monsoon drop runs south of its normal position accordingly under the influence of these synoptic systems during next two days this east and central parts of the country are likely to receive good amount of rainfall with the possibility of heavy to very heavy rainfall over these regions thereafter there is a possibility of reduction in rainfall from 23rd of september however this northeast india and andaman nicobar islands like to do experience heavy rainfall activity in isolated category accordingly this is the summary of forecast for uh, week 1 and uh, you will see that in east india under the influence of low pressure area uh, this heavy rainfall heavy to very heavy rainfall activity likely over southern and west bengal sikkim during 21st to 23rd over odisha jharkhand on 21st bihar on 21st and 22nd and isolated extremely heavy rainfall also likely over southern and west bengal and sikkim on 21st this was also mentioned today's daily weather briefing and this is the repetition of the same and uh, over north east india isolated heavy to very very fall also are uh, likely over arunachal pradesh assam meghalaya nagaland manipur mizoram tripura during 21st to 24th and extremely heavy rainfall is expected over assam meghalaya on 21st over central india activity likely will continue with heavy to very heavy rainfall possibility over madhya pradesh vidarbha and chatisgarh today in south india heavy rainfall likely over kerala tamil nadu today and tomorrow over coastal andhra pradesh telangana on 21st that is today and uh, on 26th and 27th over north west india heavy rainfall is expected over uttarakhand today and east uttar pradesh on today and tomorrow over western parts of the country isolated activity of heavy rainfall is likely over north konkan on 21st and 24th to 27 madhya maharashtra and maratwara on 21st and 22nd that is today and tomorrow and over gujarat during 26th and 27 accordingly you can see that above normal activity likely over eastern parts of the country parts of the central india maharashtra western parts of the country along the west coast from this figure it is depicted now this is the summary of week 2 so under the influence of possibility of uh, impact of western disturbance uh, over north west india light to moderate rainfall is expected over western region and adjoining plains during first half of the week that is the second week and light to moderate rainfall activity also likely over uh, over central east and north east india with possibility of heavy to very heavy rainfall over the region a likely a likely low pressure system over Uh, north west bengal around 26th of september and rainfall activity overall likely to to be normal rainfall as a whole during um, week 2 over the country accordingly this figure shows that, that most parts of the country either uh, above normal or normal activity except some pockets of north east india now this is figure showing the possibility of cyclogenesis cyclogenesis formation that is a, a system uh, is stronger than depression and above so week 1 there is no possibility of any depression and above system however in week 2 this is central view of bengal likely a low probability of uh, cyclogenesis formation so this is the right hand side figure the possibility of some system over east central view of bengal now you can stay connected with us different mode of communication like facebook twitter instagram you also visit our website mausam.imd.gov.in we will continue to uh, give a daily weather briefing and also weekly weather discussion till then namaskar jai hind jai bharat